what is up guys today i will show you how to install the newest launcher here it's a doo launcher that's how it's called from china really nice alternative to the launchers that we have installed on BYD Song plus here 2024 based on d-link 4 actually let's start one by one so step number one enter to chrome here so let's click on install here this one you need the latest version for BID or BYD let's download it so specially designed for a launcher for the cars here and this launcher what I just select to click uh, it's for BYD actually for any model I use it for BYD some plus so let's wait until it will be downloaded downloads here okay two second left actually it's already 20 okay one second actually done let's click open allow oh this is a launcher that's how it's called installation is ongoing here so installing done let's click done and open it up okay something reinstalled let's click again yeah that's how it looks like looks nice uh not launchers application permission go for authorization okay so that's how it looks like that's a view of this launcher here you can log in here actually using the code interaction device is already in english so not in chinese that's already nice and you have much more options here so here you have the current mode that's selected so uh, the range left uh, the passenger seat belts all the weather can be set it up here uh, you need to load information and give the permission for the location here although music can be controlled so when you open it up you can just bound some apps for example the spotify app you can bound some media center for instance and play the music and control it here also you have the sensors here that's showing the tires and their pressure here and temperature actually it's information from the car uh, although you have the charging total time total uh, kilometers per day average time so actually that's statistics per day that you can control and see uh, how long you ride and how often and you have the dudu auto here that actually all the statistics can be keep in your dudu account uh, although here you have the navigation uh, a map only supported but actually i don't really use it also you can go to the service pp service here uh, advanced permission let's activate them restart the launcher let's give some more permission to this launcher so you will have more uh, control point go to service again activate sdk here so if you give the full range of permission it can see much more and a red tree fail okay the original car package so actually you can select what you want by default control the original car mood light actually the, as you see there are so many settings here auto switch mode it's partly in chinese but maybe in some day it will be more controllable in english so screen corners can be rounded tasks devices connected fuel quantity warning percentage okay don't have fuel here but anyway it's working mood light can be selected temperature also uh, okay for this you need a bill e meter here interact so here you have gesture selection how to use it uh, how to use this launcher smart reminder a warning alert frame and red a hook touch here e-pad even available simple e pad with a feature so i don't know why my mobile so you can connect it to your mobile phone control center uh, for home actually you can see the widgets uh, pip widget it's actually for navigation uh, or default large widget here so two widgets available pip service doesn't work seems to let's try to open some apps from here as you see also apps are all are here maps me for instance but i think it only works with a map here uh the pip service failed so i don't think it will work but let's keep it like this for basic pure electricity switch okay d-link sdk 
uh, test was successful. Please check the detail functions yourself. Necessary permission for the link. Okay, top 10 go to, to get it. Always allow. Okay. Let's go back and check necessary permission. Notification listener permission lack of access may impact the function. Okay, let's notification permission. Okay, okay. Connection successful. Okay, um, basically all the permissions are given. Again, allow. Uh, basic, the original link package here, you see it. Uh, I think I gave all the needed permission. Attempting to enable this feature. Let's uh, check it out. That's actually one last fee. Initialization successful. Actually, I think all the permission are given what they really need. And... A C countdown timer. So I think there are really customized battery health. You see how it's shown. And PAP is loading, so let's wait. Actually, all the perm a map is not installed. So, but I think you can edit mini widgets here and add yours. Uh, that's nice. Energy floor. You have BOD vehicle information, BOD vehicle control, BOD energy consumption. Okay. Uh, for example, the energy consumption here is added, temperature, uh, maps, select navigation widget. So you have universal. Okay, let's use Waze for instance. When you click on it, Waze is opening. So that's how this actually launcher looks like. I don't know how to use it, how to disable. See, now it's loaded. So you have the Waze built in inside the frame of the launcher, which is quite nice. Also here you have uh, weather information, they know why it's not loaded yet. Cameras, all the other statistics is available. The range, you have the remain battery, max voltage, minimum voltage, totally use kilowatts here, min and max temperature. Uh, seat belt, uh, driver seat belt is not installed. Also you can log in using, your, uh, using the app here. And actually for these widgets, you have quite many of them. So also you can edit mini widgets here, weather, time, compass here, app tab, energy floor and all the others. So weather is available here. For instance, we have the weather widget and then we can add some more information regarding the weather here. The music also, music quick switch here. You can select which, what kind of music app is using for show toggle button. Even here you can switch uh, fastly to Spotify. For this, it's just showing the information of your vehicle. For the driving by day, it's also quite nice to have the statistics stored somewhere. Although you have night theme, also you have night theme and uh, default themes here, OSD, wallpapers. Uh, okay, you need to log in to customize it. This is just file manager here. They just recommended apps that can be installed and downloaded using this app. Uh, M doesn't support, okay. Let's go back, close the ways. Uh, and home, that just uh, doesn't launch on secondary display. I don't know why, it just kick me out. And what is open front, open half. Okay, some customization functions are available. I don't know the temperature, why it doesn't work, but we will customize it. Let's try uh, wireless charger. Disable, enable, open front. Please go to launch and set and allow to talk to operate the window. Okay, actually it needs some permission, but I will give it. Let's see what else we have. So uh, this, uh, I like the statistics by day. I will see, I think because I didn't uh, use it before. So this statistics is not available now, but in the future it will be. I did many widgets. What else? What else we can find? Trip information here, energy floor. BOAD energy consumption, BOAD vehicle control, vehicle information, uh, vehicle isolation. So let's add everything, confirm, let's check it out. Actually, it's fast control of your widgets. Also, you have total mileage, battery level, gear, uh, total power, recent power. Uh, this is consumption. Actually showing the, oh, interesting, you have total consumption, you have 50 ki uh, kilometers consumption. The battery status just showing like this. Okay, so actually not that last settings here available in this launcher. Uh, app Store they are built in mainly with Chinese apps, so you will not use it. Uh, then you can 
OSD for this, please choose the uh, OSD. This launcher has a lot of things to find out. Uh, gestures here, enough bar settings, uh, suspended window, home, a mini widget section. Okay, selected here, default large loaded widget, up display wallpaper, 3D car, uh, pop-up window mode, switch layout. So actually you can select a pop-up mode or window mode for as a plugin loading methods also the mini widgets can be set it up also you can select what will be on the main page actually you can have the big selection here you have the normal mode and minimalistic mode here a mini widget selection default large widget loaded at startup here you can select app menu 3d car or navigation for example uh, although large plugin methods available as well dock settings are really customizable as well home app icons how it will look like loop large widget to go the widgets together uh, also the widget settings pap default large widget navigation you can select any app that you need for navigation for music actually although quite many apps are uh, supported here uh, let's click open the app show music easy switch of BOID plugin so here you have number of vehicle status detail let's put eight use obd data to override BOD own data uh, overlay data include rotating speed water temperature okay a few some not interesting scene number of control button others energy flow displacement large clock widget about weather source let's click of a maps weather source app menu how it looks like can be designed and pip as well day night switch mode light switch or uh, just regular one 3d car model so just for your fun i think uh license plate to do auto vehicle uh, model view displays a 3d car 3d car model smooth quality status bar here also can be adjusted use time instead of auto replace stock status bar you see how many widget in vehicle temperature can be available remaining better information outside temperature weather you can see everything actually it's similar to the main screen in vehicle humidity even available interesting hotspot feature here a lot osd ac panels seat panels you see shortcuts quite convenient and the launcher itself full screen hotbar force full screen so many settings interact here so that's how you interact with the app I already covered before devices obd categories sus interconnect so you select what you want to use it uh, and then you will have more information others are task shortcuts gps here available gps speed priority a map speed priority so actually quite many settings can be set it up many options available for this app and we will not cover all the settings i think if you have uh, some question just leave it in the comment below uh, for the future i really recommend this launcher is quite interesting when you you select the pip in the windows and ways for example opening actually you select which one you prefer but it's really nice uh, addition to this uh, device to the bod som plus uh, management system you see how many indicators i have here the battery percentage also available and all the others like temperature inside car temperature outside car also you can add some add-ons here to control your car and to check it out actually that's pretty much it for review in case you still have some question put in the comments below put the thumbs up and see you next time